coming to you in the all-powerful name of Jesus. Friend, we have a wonderful program for you today. Good gospel music and singing. Powerful testimonies. I know that you're going to be blessed, so stay right there. Don't you dare go away. From studios in Akron, Ohio, welcome to the 199 Club with your host, Ernest Angley. On today's program, you'll enjoy great gospel music and singing. And you'll hear amazing testimonies and accounts of God's miracle power. Bringing you reports of heaven's miracles that people are receiving all over the world through this Jesus World Outreach Ministry. And now your host for the 99 Club, Ernest Angley. You are special, and you are special to God. My name is the Reverend Steve Millar, and I'm Associate Minister here at Ernest Ainsley's Grace Cathedral. And I'll be your guest host for today. And if you have a need, call in right now. We have prayer counselors on duty ready to take your call. And at the end of the program, I'll be taking your request to the throne of grace, expecting God to move for you. And those of you in the Cleveland area, it's toll-free, 440-842-8043. And the rest of you outside of Cleveland, 330-929-5010. Now we have a great number for you by the Cathedral Trio, Tony, Corliss, and Isaiah, and the Girls Trio. And the title of this song is, There is a New Day. So listen and be blessed. There's a new day of dawning Where the power of God is falling We're living in this hour With the Holy Ghost power We'll shout and praise God's holy name We're living in the latter rain There's a new day of dawning A brand new day We're contending for the faith As we run this Jesus race We're no longer sitting down When the devil comes around We'll spray him with the blood when he comes in like a flood. There's a new day of dawning, a brand new day. There's a new, new day, day of dawning, where the power, power of God is falling. We're living oh, in this hour, in this hour with the Holy Ghost power. Holy Ghost power. We'll shout, shout and praise God's praise. praise. We're living Ooh. in the latter rain. There's a new, new day of dawning, a brand new day. God's miracles are real. Amen. Don't go by how you feel. Oh, no. Just know His word is true and let Him move for you. Trust Him and believe. Reach to Him and receive. There's a new day of dawning, a brand new day. There's a new day of dawning where the power of God is falling. We're living in this hour with the Holy Ghost power. We'll shout and praise God's holy name. We're living in the latter rain. There's a new day of dawning, a brand new day. Now come and get the Holy Ghost. It's Him you need the most. Mm -hmm. He comes to live inside. Be your teacher and your guide. With you He will stay. If you let Him have His way. There's a new day of dawning, a brand new day. There's a new, new day of dawning, new where the power of God is falling. We're living falling. in this hour, in this with hour. Holy Ghost power. Holy Ghost power. We'll shout, shout and praise God's holy name. name. We're, We're living, living in the latter rain. rain. There's a new, new day of dawning, a brand new day. Yes, there's a new day of dawning, where the power of God is falling. We're living falling. in this hour. The Holy Ghost power. We'll shout and praise God's holy name. We're living in the latter rain. There's a new day of dawning, a brand new day. Oh, yeah. Yes, there's a new day of dawning, a brand new day. Brand new, new day. Ah, oh, yes, we're living in the latter rain with the power of the Holy Ghost. 
Well, friend, now we have Angels Grace Cathedral Choir, directed by Barb Durande, and the title of this song is Brighten the Corner. So listen to this song and get ready to receive all that the Lord has for you. We should all brighten the corner where we are. So no matter where you are, friend, when you have that Jesus smile, you'll brighten the corner and people will see Jesus in you. And now we have Kathy Rudolph with the Voice of Answer Prayer, and she has testimonies from around the world, excuse me, from the U.S. and Canada. So welcome to the program, Kathy. Uh, thank you, Reverend Millar. And we're going to brighten the corner for people today with these wonderful testimonies that cover mind, soul, and body. Our first testimony is Xavier from Canton, Ohio. And he says, Dear Reverend Angley, the first miracle I received through this ministry was when I was in high school. I was on the track team and I would have discomfort in my hips when I was running. One day, a chiropractor came to our track practice. When I was speaking to him, I told him about the pain I was having in my hip and he told me I needed to see a doctor. Well, I went to my doctor and when he pressed on my hip, he felt a piece of my bone that had chipped off. And he said there was nothing he could really do. We would just have to wait for it to move out through my system. 
well, I didn't want to do that, so I went to one of your services, mm -hmm. and you prayed for me, and I haven't had any pain in my hip since. And that's a great miracle. That is a great miracle, friend. You know, I pray that these miracles are going to lift your faith up, and maybe you have problems with your hip. Maybe you're elderly and you have problems with hips. You know, God can move for you today and you can receive your miracle or your healing. And just think, you can call in right now. You see the phone number on the screen. And we have prayer counselors on duty ready to take your call. And you can receive a great miracle. Or maybe you know someone who needs a miracle for their hip or any part of their body. Well, like I said, you can stand in the gap and call in for that person. And now you have a little bit more with oh, the yes, testimony? Oh yes, he has more. But you know, if a doctor tells you that they can't help you, uh, like they told him that there was nothing they could do, God yes. is the final and he can help you. Then he goes on, he said, I have had various back miracles, but there is one that stands out to me the most. I started having a lot of back spasms when I was working, and they were very uncontrollable muscle movements. I had to do a lot of lifting, and I knew I couldn't work in that condition. I received prayer from one of your associate ministers, and I haven't had back spasms since. A few summers ago, I was not able to fall asleep for two days in a row. I tried over-the-counter sleeping aids, teas and even listening to sermons, but nothing worked. I could not sleep all night long and I didn't know why. That happened during the week, so on Friday I went to the service and you prayed for me and through the gift of discerning that operates in your life, the Lord revealed that the devil was really battling my mind. And after prayer, I went home and slept like a baby all night. A lot of people have trouble sleeping. They do. And but God you can know, help. God can, you know, when you get prayer, you can get, have that peace in your mind. And, you know, the devil likes to attack any Christian, you oh, know, in yes. their sleep. Mm -hmm. And because, you know, that seems like, you know, the time where mm -hmm. they can really, the devil can come at you. Well, you know, by getting prayer and, you know, the nine gifts of the Spirit are working in Reverend Angie's life. And he came to that Friday night miracle service and he was able to get his miracle. Yes, and it's wonderful how we can just turn over those battles of the mind, put them under the blood or whatever your problems, Jesus said to bring them to him. And that gives you the peace you need so you can have a good night's rest. He says, I have one last miracle I want to share. I was doing landscaping one day and the mower quit running. I had to manually pull it to turn it back on but I couldn't get it to start. I went to brace myself to try again and I accidentally bumped the burning hot muffler with the palm of my hand and immediately my palm turned white as snow and the rest of my hand all around the burn was red and swollen. So I put some cream on it, called the ministry's prayer line. I received prayer and then I put a blessed cloth on my hand. Within a few hours, it was back to its normal color. The swelling went down and I was fine. Severe burns do not heal that quickly without the Lord. Well, these are some great testimonies. And, mm -hmm. you know, when you give your testimony, <coughs> um, it is a big blessing. Yes. And we just had someone call in to our prayer line and he was a backslider and he gave his heart to the Lord. Oh, thank and you, that Lord. is a, a huge blessing when yes. you come back to the Lord, you know, because God wants all of us to receive Jesus in our hearts. Amen. And he wants you to do a great work for the Lord. And we had another phone call just a little bit ago also while you were reading that letter. And the person said that, you know, this Jesus ministry is doing a great work for the Lord. And, you know, just words of encouragement. Well, we would love to hear from you. And, and when you give your testimony to our prayer counselor, they'll write it down. And if we can read it on the air, that will be great. But, you know, if she can write it all down and maybe we'll use it on another show. But what a huge blessing to be right in there with the Lord and, and hear about all these great miracles. Oh, yes. It helps others 
it just really stirs people's hearts to hear what God has done for others and gives them hope that it God does. can do it for them. Well, here's Brenda from Akron, Ohio, who says, Dear Reverend Angley, I am originally from Selma, Alabama, but I have now been in this ministry for close to 30 years, and I'm always amazed with all the miracles that occur here, and even with the miracles I have received. My first experience with receiving a miracle was at Grace Cathedral on Canton Road in Springfield Township. I had been sick on and off and especially at night. I would have sweats and then I would start coughing and couldn't stop. So I wasn't able to get any rest. And I went to the doctor and I was diagnosed with walking pneumonia and a spot on my lung. My cousin, whom I affectionately call my mother, brought me to a Friday night service. I was very nervous, but I went in the healing line for prayer anyway, and you laid hands on me, and I received my miracle. I was able to get off the medication the doctor put me on, and I never had any of that again. About two years ago, I was having trouble with my right eye. My eye doctor took an x-ray of my eyes and during my eye exam, she kept going over and over the exam with me. She told me she didn't know what was wrong, but she couldn't give me glasses because there was something behind my right eye. She said she was very concerned about it and was going to send me to a specialist. I told her I knew the Lord would take care of it, and I left it at that. Well, the Friday before my appointment, I received prayer in the healing line. And when I went home, I listened to one of your sermons called By Faith. And I was pushing the faith button you have told us about. <laughs> and that was a sermon too, it's a great one. I had to build up my faith because I didn't know what was going on behind my eyes. Well, I went to the specialist and he took an x-ray. Then he asked me why I was there. I told him my eye doctor had seen a spot behind my eye and she didn't know what it was or whether or not it would develop into something. The specialist said that when he compared my first x-ray with his x-ray, the first one did show that there was something behind my right eye, but his showed nothing. A miracle took place. He kept saying, I don't see it, I don't see it. I'm not seeing what she saw. <laughs> I praise God for that miracle. That's something when, when you have the x-rays right there before and after prayer. I love it for the, yes. for the medical proof. I mean, that, that's huge because oh, yes. there's wonderful. no denying that miracle when there was a spot and now there isn't a spot. Right. And it's after prayer. Right. And God did it. And these are some great testimonies oh, they of are. how God just is moving for this Jesus ministry. She has more to tell. She says, my third miracle was probably the hardest miracle I ever had to receive. It seemed I was always sick to my stomach and I couldn't do anything to get comfort for it. I work at the buffet restaurant owned by your ministry and no matter how I felt, I was always in my place at work. My supervisor would tell me that the Lord did not expect me to keep working while I was sick, but I assured her I would be fine. She was using faith. At the end of the services, I would have one of your associates pray for me, but my stomach problems would not ease up and they continue for years. However, you've taught us to hold on for our miracles and that is what I did. Eventually, I, I had to have surgery for a female problem. And when the doctor looked at my x-rays, he said he did not know how I was still standing. He said my stomach was so bad that if he had it his way, he would do surgery on it that very day. Well, he said he wanted to do the surgery on a certain date, and I asked him if he would give me until the 21st. Well, it was September 7th, and asked, she asked him if he would give, him, give her till the 21st. And he asked why, and again said that I really needed to have the surgery right away. But I told him I had to go to work and that I had to move. And he told me I wasn't strong enough to go to work. But I told him I had been working every day and that the Lord would hold me up a little bit longer. Again, she was using that faith and depending on the Lord. Well, the next Friday, I went up on the platform for one more prayer from you and that did it. I did come through the surgery, but 
Then the surgeon nipped my bladder, so I knew I was going to need more healing, and I received prayer again, and I also called the ministry's prayer line, and I got that healing. I've never had any more problems with my stomach. You know, she was just really depending on the Lord, and the Lord saw her through. Well, I still work at the buffet faithfully and nonstop, more than ever. I like working there. The Lord has really blessed me with good health, a good job, and financial blessings, and my strength is better than it has ever been in my life. She closes with, recently, I received a great spiritual miracle. I was able to pray with my father, get him saved, and today he is in heaven. And that's a great miracle. That is, you know, friend, <clears throat> just think, you know, the, the greatest miracle of all is accepting Jesus Christ into your heart, you know, the, the miracle of salvation. And at the end of the program, I'll give you an opportunity to receive Jesus into your heart if you don't have him. Or if you would like to call in right now, our prayer counselors will pray with you to accept Jesus. You know, there was just a man that called in a little bit ago when I mentioned, you know, that was a backslider. And he gave his heart to the Lord. When you're in your place and you're serving the Lord, you know, people will want you to pray for them, to lead them in the Lord, to win lost, yes. win the lost at any cost. That's our motto around here. Oh, yes, it has been ever since I can remember. <laughs> and how true it is, this ministry has always worked for souls. Everything, all efforts, everything we put out, it's for souls. Well, here's Don from Cuyahoga Falls, Ohio. And anyone who really wants the Holy Ghost, you can hear how she got the Holy Ghost. And anyone with a mental condition, there's help for them, too, through God. She says, Dear Reverend Angeli, first, I want to thank you and your associate pastors for the way all of you give yourselves to the Lord through prayer and fasting and for the way you help us to receive what we need from the Lord. It is such a blessing to be in this ministry and under the Lord's mighty anointings and teachings. Well, the first testimony I would like to share is how I received the Holy Ghost. In 2013, I was living in Florida. I knew the rapture was getting close and that I needed to receive the Holy Ghost, and I had struggled with that on and off for several years. At that time, I was in nursing school, so I decided I would take the next quarter off and go to Grace Cathedral in Akron, Ohio, where I knew there would be people to help me seek for the Holy Ghost. Then I would go back to Florida to finish nursing school and then move to Akron, and that was my plan. The day before I was to leave, I was driving to work, and I thought, if I can receive the Holy Ghost by going to Ohio, I can receive them while I'm driving. So I started praising the Lord, and within minutes, the Holy Ghost came upon me so powerfully. I pulled off the road to stay safe, and I received the baptism of the Holy Ghost. And I didn't have to take a quarter off school, and I give the Lord all the honor and the glory for that. And as I mentioned earlier, she says, I was in nursing school. And after I received the Holy Ghost, he really helped me graduate. I even graduated at the top of my class, and that was a blessing because the Holy Ghost enabled me to give a speech at the graduation ceremony. And when I gave Jesus all the honor and glory, everyone gave me a standing ovation. It was really nice. And isn't that something? How she, she was just ready to get the Holy Ghost then and there. Yes, you know... You know, the Holy Ghost needs to be on the inside of you. You know, mm -hmm. the Holy Ghost, you know, if you're, if you, even if you're saved, you still need the Holy Ghost. Those are yes. two separate events. Yes. You know, that's why Jesus told the disciples to go to the upper room to receive that power from on high, to receive the baptism of the Holy Ghost. And, you know, for Dawn to recognize that she needed the Holy Ghost. And when that power, you know, came upon her, you know, and she was able to speak in a, another language, a heavenly language, you know, and she recognized that the, that was the Holy Ghost yes. speaking through her. What a huge blessing. Yes. And then, you know, the Holy Ghost is our guide and our teacher, our comforter. You know, there's so much that we need to know about the Bible, but the Holy Ghost is there to help you learn about the Bible. He will give you God thoughts. He'll give you understanding about the Bible. 
You know, friend, I'd like to encourage everybody who doesn't have the Holy Ghost to go on to receive the baptism of the Holy Ghost. In fact, you can go to our website, earnestangeli.org, and you can actually go on to our worship center and there will be someone explaining the Holy Ghost to you and how to receive the Holy yes. Ghost. And I'd like to encourage everyone to do that. Well, at this time we have the Singing Men's Quartet and they're gonna be singing a song called Say Jesus. And we all need to say Jesus in our mind all the time and keep our focus right on Jesus. Say Jesus, he's the bright and morning star. He's the same wherever you are. He's a master king of kings. He's the Lord of everything. Say Jesus, I love you so. When you wake up in the morning, let him know that you love him. When you're at the supper table, let him know that you thank him. When you go to bed at night time, make sure you pray to him. Say Jesus, I love you so. Say Jesus, he's a bright and morning star. He's the same wherever you are. He's a master king of kings. He's the Lord of everything. Say Jesus, I love you so. It'll put your soul on fire. Say Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. That name will ever inspire. Say Jesus when you think of him. There's power in his name. Say Jesus. Say Jesus. I love you so. Say Jesus. He's a bright and morning star. He's the same wherever you are. He's a master king of kings. He's the Lord of Jesus, I love you so. Say Jesus, he's the bright and morning star. He's the same wherever you are. He's a master king of kings. He's the Lord of everything. Say Jesus, I love you so. Sure, in 
Ah, yes, what a blessing the Glory Land singers are to this Jesus ministry. And now we're back with Kathy Rudolph, and she's going to go ahead and tell more about Dawn's letter. Yes, we're going back to Dawn's uh, testimony. Uh, she had received the Holy Ghost in a miraculous way. But then she goes on, and she said, Around that same time, I received a miracle. I was starting to become afflicted in my mind, with a mental health problem. Of course, it was from the devil, but I didn't realize it at the time. What was wrong? I only knew I couldn't think straight. And eventually, I had to be hospitalized and placed on medication in order to get my thoughts together. So you know she was in bad shape. She said, someone reached out to you for me and you said you saw the Jesus miracle star in the vision. And after that, I knew I had received my miracle because I could think straight. Things were clear in my mind and it was wonderful. Then I looked around me at those in the hospital and I thought, well, now I can help all these people with their mental health problems. I did that and it turned into a big blessing. Mm. I've enjoyed it there after that. Well, the last thing I want to mention is how God was able to move me to Akron in October 2015. It was his perfect timing, and the Lord had set up a nice apartment for me with a Holy Ghost-filled landlord. Most of the neighbors were Holy Ghost-filled as well, and I soon joined the Jubilee Youth Choir, and I was also able to help seekers receive the Holy Ghost at the altar. She became an altar worker. I'm so grateful to be at Grace Cathedral, as pretty as Florida is, I wouldn't trade being in Akron for anything. And she received a lot from the Lord. Yes, and you know, she's... Changed her life. She is, and, and you know, just think, you know, she, she's focused on souls. Yes. You know, and you know, God made a way for her to come up here and to serve the Lord up here. And you may be thinking, well, you know, Florida's so much nicer. Well, <laughs> when the Lord moves on you, you know, you have to be obedient. And she w you knew that to come up here, she's going to be a great altar worker, helping people seek to receive the baptism, what she experienced receiving the Holy Ghost. And, you know, when you're in your place, mm -hmm. the Lord's going to bless you. Yes, and he'll direct your path. Well, now we have Matthew from Stowe, Ohio. And he says, Dear Reverend Angley, the first testimony I want to share happened around July 2017. I was playing basketball at a park. Normally, I would stay afterward for a while, but that evening I started feeling so sick that I had to leave. I was even nervous about making it to my car and getting home. I was saying the blood, the blood, as I was going to my car, and I started feeling better. I was able to get prayer from you, and you said you saw the Lord's miracle star in the vision and the Holy Ghost spoke through you. Then the sick feeling left before I was even done talking to you. I had received an instant mm -hmm. miracle. The second miracle I want to tell you about happened in October 2017. One Friday as I was doing some work, I hit my head hard on a piece of metal equipment. And a couple days later on Sunday, I started having pain in my head and I didn't feel like doing anything. I went to church that night, and when you walked out on the platform, the Lord's gifts of discerning and miracles that work in your life began moving. I heard you say, the person over there with head trouble, take your miracle. Well, I had my eyes closed, and when I opened them, you were looking in my direction, so I took that miracle, and right after that, I started having pain in my head that was even worse than before, but I knew it was the devil trying to give me 
false symptoms. So I claimed my miracle. And that night, I was much better. And the next day, all the pain was gone. I received another instant miracle. The last miracle I want to share was for my eyes. I have had glasses since I was around six years old, and I am now 20. And when people would try on my glasses, <laughs> they would be shocked at how strong they were. I had received prayer for them at different times, but it seemed it was one of the hardest miracles for me to get. In October 2017, I had an appointment to see the eye doctor on a Monday. The Sunday night before my appointment, I received prayer from you. I noticed my vision was clearer right after you prayed for me, so I went to the eye doctor expecting to get a good report from him. As he checked different things with my eyes, he kept saying how good everything was. Then he said that my glass, glasses prescription from my last visit was too strong. Well, the eye doctor told me that my right eye was 20-30 and my left eye was 20-25. And he also said that at times he believed I could see close to 20-20 using both eyes. The doctor said he didn't expect my vision to improve anymore but I know it will be even better the next time I go back. God gave me a great miracle for my vision. Well, those are some great testimonies. And, you know, Matthew's a, a cameraman here, and, you know, he's been, he grew up in this Jesus ministry. And when you grow up in this Jesus ministry, you are blessed. I mean, most people don't realize it, you know, that a lot of people around here grew up in this ministry. You know, they were brought up and they've been blessed the whole time. And, you know, it is special to be part of this Jesus ministry, but to grow up in it. I didn't grow up in this Jesus ministry. There's a lot of things that I didn't know about Jesus at all. But when I came here, I was able to be under the teachings of Reverend Ainsley and I was able to learn the truth. You know, and it is something to know the truth because we all need to know the truth in this final hour. Well, I was handed a note um, just a little bit ago when Kathy was reading that testimony, and it, uh, and it refers to Dawn's testimony, how Dawn received the Holy Ghost in her car. Well, this lady from Berita, Bria called in and said she was watching the show and she heard Don's testimony on how she asked the Lord for a good dose of the Holy Ghost and this lady wanted the same thing. She wanted to receive the baptism of the Holy Ghost. So she did receive during this program, during, Thanks you know, God. just a little bit ago, but she called in and she was laughing and she was crying and she was just so excited to let someone know that she received the baptism of the Holy Ghost. And I've seen many people receive the baptism of the Holy Ghost and they start off full of joy and then this cloud of humbleness comes over them and they start weeping. I mean, every situation is different, but it is such a holy and sacred time that you just start shedding tears and you're, you're thanking the Lord that you just received the baptism of the Holy Ghost. Mm. We praise God for that report. Amen. Well, this is Matt's wife, Shayla from Stowe. And she says, Dear Reverend Angley, I am originally from Canada and I want to thank you for your dedication to the Lord and for all the love you have shown me. First, I would like to share the greatest miracle of all, which is my salvation. I received Jesus into my heart when I was 13 years old. And before that time, I would pray to God saying, Lord, I want to believe in you. I just don't know how. Well, God answered that prayer. I had prayed as a sinner and I had prayed as a sinner and he gave me salvation. Then I received the precious Holy Ghost. There is no greater life than living for Jesus. I have been blessed so greatly by him. The second miracle I would like to share was for my tonsils. I was having problems with them and they would hurt and get red and sore. I would try different remedies to soothe the pain in my throat because it would hurt to swallow. I would try drinking water even when I wasn't thirsty or I would suck on popsicles. The pain would go away, but it would come back, and it happened a lot. I received prayer from you, and my throat has never been the same. 
The third miracle I want to share was for sharp pains in my head. And I would get them in different areas around my head. I started getting them more frequently. And I remember one time standing in the kitchen crying because the pain in my head was so sharp. I went in the healing line on a miracle Friday night and received prayer from you. I didn't know what was causing the pain, but through the gift of knowledge that operates in your life, the Lord revealed it to you. When I was three years old, I was climbing a tree and I fell and hit my head on a rock and almost became unconscious. That is what was causing the pain and I received my miracle. We praise God for that. Yes, and, and Shayla came from Canada, and you yes. just heard, you know, Dawn coming from Florida, and, our, you know, Shayla comes from Canada. People come from all over to be yes. part of this Jesus ministry. And I can tell you, friend, firsthand, when, when people walk through the door, they, they make the comment that they feel so much love. And it's that Jesus love. You know, our ushers are there to greet them and welcome them in. You know, it is something, and I'd like to invite everybody to come to our services. You know, when you come to a Jesus service, you'll recognize it, you know. It all starts with our Friday night miracle service. We have two beautiful locations this weekend, you know, and they're at uh, Caga Falls at 2700 State Road and in Akron at 1055 Canton Road, Springfield Township. And it starts, like I said, Friday night with our miracle service at 7 p.m. at our Caga Falls location. And if you need a miracle or you need a healing, come to our Friday night miracle service and get ready to receive. Or if you know someone that needs a miracle or a healing, invite them to come and be with us. Then we have our youth service at 7 p.m. at our Akron location at 1055 Canton Road, Springfield Township. We'll have a male and a female speaker in good gospel music and singing. Then back to our Caga Falls location for our Sunday morning worship service at 10 a.m. Then Sunday evening, we're going to have a glorious time in the Lord. So at 7 p.m., come and be with us. And like I said, when you come to our services, you will feel that love of Jesus. I had recently spoke to a man who had called to our office and had, uh, was inquiring about different things about the ministry. And one of, he had attended his first service and he said how welcome he felt. He felt that love that comes from the Lord. So, and he was just wanting to know more about us. So. I hope everyone, if you've never been here, make a visit, make yes. a visit. Yes, they'll be blessed. And I was handed a note from a uh, person who, someone called in from Madison, Ohio, this gentleman, and he, from his cell phone, and he's in the hospital. Hmm. And he was having complications with his heart. It was beating too fast, and they gave him a EKG. And the doctors let him know that, you know, that he does have a good heart. And he wanted to testify about this, how, you know, calling in our prayer line. You know, our prayers work, friend. You know, we have a connection with heaven. And we're pulling down heaven for each one of you. When you're a partner of this Jesus ministry, you can see the result. You know, I'd like to thank you firsthand, you know, all that you're doing for this Jesus ministry and how you're blessing people. Because we're getting people calling in, letting us know what God has done for them. Here this gentleman's in the hospital. You know, and they thought he had a bad heart, but he doesn't. He received his miracle all as well. And he just wants to let us know that, you know, he's just so grateful for the prayer line. Amen. And our prayer line does do a great <clears throat> work. Well, Mary uh, from Leeds, Alabama called the prayer line and here's what happened. Dear Reverend Angeley, I am writing to thank you and your ministry prayer counselors for praying for my husband and me when we called requesting prayer. My husband was very ill with pneumonia and was having trouble breathing. We called and my husband spoke to the prayer partner, a man who told him to expect a miracle. He prayed a good prayer for him and it helped his faith and the next evening, he was still having difficulty breathing and a spirit of fear tried to make him think he might die. Well, I told him that fear is from the enemy, that God does not give us a spirit of fear. Well, I sat in a chair feeling upset and it came to me to call the prayer line again. So I called and a wonderful lady answered my call. 
She prayed and it helped me so much. I immediately began to feel better. While my husband went back to the doctor and was told the fluid in his lungs was gone. Praise the Lord. He is much better and has returned to work. We appreciate your ministry so much. Thank you and your powerful prayer partners for being there for us in our time of need. Your ministry is a blessing to many people. And we thank God for being there for them at that time. Yes, and our pray, prayer counselors are prayed up and they take a fresh anointing every day and they're ready to pray for you. And like I said earlier, you can see the phone number on the screen. I'd like to encourage you to, to call in. Whatever your need is, they are willing to pray with you and they want to touch heaven with you. And Julie from Fruitland Park, Florida called the prayer line and here's what happened. Praise report, she says, Pastor Angeli and workers, thank you very much for praying for me when I called your prayer line. My blood pressure is normal. The dizziness is gone. I have more peace. I am praying more effectively. My finances are blessed. I appreciate your ministry. And, you know, she or her finances were blessed. You know, friend, if you need a miracle physically, spiritually, or financially, you know, you can call in and we'll pray with you. But sure. you can, mm -hmm. you know, over on the mission field, there's so many people that we go into a, a third world country and they want a blessing for their finances. And I've seen people where they'll ask for prayer and by the end of our trip, you know, our mission trip, they'll already receive a job or, or maybe a pay increase and they want to tell us about it. And it's, you know, it's all, God did it all. Oh yes, He's God is a good God. And here's Mary from Ohio who says, Dear Reverend Angeli, you prayed for my left thumb that locked up and was so painful that it was hard to do things, but I never gave up. It is normal now, and I'm so glad to be a partner. Those prayers of agreement are mm -hmm. powerful. Edna from Fayetteville, West Virginia called. I want to give a testimony. About 50 or 55 years ago, Reverend Angeli called us to the front on a Sunday. He said he was going to pray over us for God to give us a flu shot. A lot of people have never heard of a minister giving a flu shot, but it's a spiritual flu shot. Well, I am 73 years old and I've never had a flu shot from man, nor have I had the flu. I believe that what God does is perfect and lasts. And we believe in both shots, the one man gives and the one that God gives. Yes, and you know, Reverend Angeli, you know, he'll have that flu shot night. Yes. And you know, it's a spiritual flu shot. And he'll pray over everybody, you know, for, for protection for the flu. And one time, you know, we had a young man come with us to church or meet us at church, I think it was, and he was sitting next to my wife. And, and as soon as Reverend announced, you know, you know that we're going to have its flu shot night, you know, the first thing he wanted to know, well, how much is it? He whispered to my <laughs> wife and, and, and she's like, there's no charge. You know, you know, we don't charge for prayer, you know, oh, we're, no. we want to pray for everybody. And we want to be a blessing to everybody, you know. It was just surprising that she, he even asked that question. But, you know, that's, God wants you to be well all over. Yes. And that flu shot night was just a protection, you that's know. That's right. From the flu. I've taken it and I've never had the flu either. And I praise God for it. <laughs> Here's a lady, she's 90 years old from Ash, North Carolina. And she called to testify that she had a large cyst on her knee and could not walk or stand. She took the giant little book with the picture of the lamb and the prayer from the book and put it on her knee. She also called in for prayers. She can now stand, walk, and move fine. She is healed. Also, her daughter had a melanoma removed on the calf of her leg Doctor said it would take six months to heal. They called the prayer line and it only took six weeks and it is healed. That's These great. are some great testimonies. Do you have a, a short one? Sure. A man from Rochester, New York reports that he had a bad fall in his apartment and hurt his back, elbow and knees. After calling the prayer line, all is well. Mm. 
that he said would not have been well if he had not called. <laughs> <laughs> well, these are some great testimonies, Kathy, and you know, God has done so much through this Jesus ministry, and I play, pray that you're blessed for this show. Well, at this time, we have the Zion Trio, and they're going to be singing Rapture Ground. And just think, Rapture Ground is just ahead. So listen to this song and be blessed. I'm so excited, rapture ground is just ahead We're in that final crossing, can't you feel it in the air? My lamp is filled with oil, in Him I will delight Rapture ground is just inside Rapture ground is just ahead, oh my soul is feeling light My feet have taken wings and I'm ready Jesus through those clouds we're gonna go I'm leaving this home these furnishings not packing for this flight Rapture ground is just inside For that flight in a flash I'll soon be gone Saying goodbye, world goodbye Rapture ground is just inside Rapture ground is just ahead Oh, my soul is feeling light My feet have taken wings And I'm ready for that flight in a flash I'll soon be gone Saying goodbye, world goodbye Rapture ground just inside. My feet have taken wings and I'm ready for the fly. Rapture ground is just inside. Rapture ground is just inside. Ah, uh, yes. Rapture ground is just in sight. But friend, do you have Jesus Christ in your heart? Have you accepted Jesus into your heart? If you haven't, I'd like to give you this opportunity right now to accept Jesus into your heart by praying with me. Say this prayer, say, Oh God, save my soul. Forgive me for my sins, but I have come home to serve you the rest of my life. And I believe that the blood of Jesus washes away all of my sins. Come into my heart, Jesus. Come on in, Jesus. Amen. Friend, if you meant that prayer, you have Jesus Christ in your heart. You have the healer. Let's get your miracle for you right now. Put your hand against my hand on the television screen. This is a point of contact, and we're going to pull down heaven together. Lord, Heavenly Father, you know what their need is. Break their bondage and set them free. We curse every sickness, every disease in their body. Heal in the holy blood name of Jesus. Heal in the holy blood name of Jesus Christ, I pray. And let everything come to normal. Friend, always give God the praise, the honor, and the glory. I love you, Jesus loves you, and you are so
special to God. Friend, there is great joy and happiness in telling others about the true and living God. Become a partner in this Jesus outreach today and join us in spreading the gospel of truth throughout the earth. Well, till the next time we get together, remember, you are special to God.